Hey guys, Richard Holder here. You know what? The sun's out, I got a motor on the dyno, but you know what that means? It's time for a junkyard run. Okay guys, we're at the wrecking yard. I'm looking for three different motors and I need to stay focused and not look at all everything else, but I'm probably going to. Anyway, so first of all, we're looking for the 4200 Atlas motor, 2007. 2008 we've got the harness and computer already working out of the mega squirt which is awesome thanks to the mega squirt guys that's working and we should be able to run that thing up on the dyno no problem i need to get the motor and the bell housing to adapt that to the dyno so we're looking for one of those next motor is any 2.2 or 2.5 turbo chrysler motor i got fingers crossed for that those are getting hard to find the last motor is any 3800 series 2 supercharged motor because I want to have a spare of one of those so that we can do the ported heads and do all that stuff too. So let's take a walk around and see what we can see. Ooh, look at that. Compressor. Okay, stay focused. Look at that. Lexus V8, what's up? Gotta go through the puddles. So while we're here, we might as well take a stroll through the full-size truck stuff. FE. Throttle body big block Chevy. Gen 5. Little Dodge over the motorhome area. Well, see how they got that one out. Hack and slash. So this thing would make for easy removal. You see your diesel. Trans has already gone on it. Lift the cab up, yank the motor out. Explorer. Yeah, GT40. Someone's taking a bunch of parts off it though. We do look fine in the 5.8s, but not with that. It's a 91, so again, not a hydraulic roller. I do like 351, so. Five liter Ford truck engine. This one's a 96, so this actually is a hydraulic roller one. So if you want a hydraulic roller motor, it's a good start. Wish it was a 5.8 though. I've seen these. Oh, the other section's still on there. Okay. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Kind of tore it apart. Pull the valve cover off. Push rods are all still there. Throttle body's there. As always, there are plenty of rams. Magnum engines in them. This one is a 5.9 liter. 360 in the house. Here we go, Magnum. It took the water pump, but it's all ready to come out. Easy access. I like checking out the inside of the vans. Got some Dodge action going on. Throttle body injection. Exhaust manifolds are still in. Looks pretty complete. Somebody yanked the distributor off. At least pulled the cap off. It's still there. So naturally, whenever we come to an LS, we always check the head, 
lots of 862s and 706s. That's a 4.8 or 5.3. Lots of 706s and 862s. Truck manifold on the ground, it's a good sign. 706s for days. So we basically got endless 706 and 862 head LS motors. Still lots of potential with these. Cam, springs, boost and you're on your way. I like these two because they've got the little V6s in them. 4.3 liter Vortec. Tucked down inside there somewhere. So we're doing the Chevy 292 and also the Slant 6. And I'm gonna grab a 300 Ford. I wish Jeep made a six cylinder. That'd be awesome. Sometimes you just gotta stop and you know, admire the engineering of the intake manifold. I wonder if there's anybody out there that wants me to do a North Star. Anyone who will like the Lexus V8? Toyota V8. Look at that. So you an aluminum headed LT1, because in a Camaro. Nice. We like these. Maybe a good candidate for the 302 version. So we're finding, starting to find some trailblazers. With the right motor, but this is an early one. This is an 03. So I'll have to keep looking around. But they're here. So we got another Trailblazer. This one's also an early one. 04. I'll find something a little bit later. Got another Trailblazer. Got a bunch of stuff missing from it though. Not what we want. We want it complete. Here's an Envoy. Still got a bunch of stuff missing though. Coil pack seems to be a popular thing here. Seems to be a fairly common thing. No throttle body. Whoop. Couple of them still back there. Maybe those are too far to reach. Two thousand two. See, they're pulling those out. Might be just yanking the throttle bodies to get access to them. Get rid of that glare. Another envoy. Guess what? Look underneath there. This one saw the throttle body on it, but all oh, that stuff is gone. What's up, yo? Okay, guys, found an 06. Let's see what's missing here. I think everything's there. It's Mountain Dew. Team Extreme. Forty two hundred. This is definitely a candidate here. One, two, three, four, five, six coil packs. I like that. 
This might be a winner. Got another 2006, but valve cover, cold pack, throttle body. Bunch of stuff missing from it though. Oh, we get to see what the inside looks like. Full race cams. Got another 06. Stuff out. Okay guys, I'm hiding here in the shade next to a van. I've looked through all of the SUVs and stuff and we found a couple of trailblazers so I'm going to see about taking one of those out. I've got an engine on the dyno so i got to get back over there. I might have somebody grab it and see what we can do. And you know, we also need to get the bell housing for that. But now I'm going to take a look and see if we can find any 2.2 Dodges before I take off and then we'll uh, motor through and see if we can't find any 3800 Series 2 supercharged motors. Missed the tune just a little bit on this one. Missed the tune on this one too. Just a little spicy. Hey Jeremy, here's another one for you. Right there. Just waiting for a swap. Just begging. Needs a K swap. This is another one I kind of like. I definitely want one of these. 2.5 liter Honda V6 J series engine. This one is in an Odyssey. This one's an 04. It's got an 01 Acura 32 valve. I really need to do a Honda V6. Another Honda Accord V6. It's all ready to come. They took the trans. Here's what I don't like. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Seat belts for the win, man. Look at that. They just take the Honda engines out, just lay them on the ground. Because of this. Check it out, this one's got the red valve covers. Must be type R. Just walking over trying to find the 2.2 stuff. Got our fingers crossed. I don't see too many of those, and if we do see any, they're usually the NA versions. Late stuff here, PT Cruiser. Come on, where's the 80s stuff? All kinds of this, all kinds of this stuff. No 80s stuff yet. We're probably going to see a few of these, the later ones. Okay guys, we took a stroll through and I didn't see any 2.2 liter Chrysler. There's nothing in the early or, or mid 80s up to the early 90s, so there's nothing there. We also took a look for the supercharged 3800 and I didn't see any of those today. The last thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna take a stroll through the classic section. There's always cool stuff to take a look at there. I did find the 4200. We're going to have, I'm gonna have somebody pull that out because I've got an engine on the dyno. I've got to get back over and test it. We're trying to put that uh, STS Cadillac supercharger on the LS on the six liter, so I gotta run that. Hopefully we'll be able to do that tonight. He's gonna pull that for 4200. The nice thing is I took a look underneath. The trans is already gone. Now I need a bell housing for that 4200 so we can hook it up to the dyno. We've already got the fuel injection set up. So hopefully this motor will be a runner. I told them to make sure that it spins because you know if it spins it wins. Let's check out the classic section and then we can call it a day. Okay AMC guys we've got a 73 American Matador. It's not all complete but it's mostly there. Valve covers are there. Looks like they snag a couple rockers or something off. Still, potential. Nash Rambler. <laughs> yeah. Been like that for a while. 
Who knows? Maybe blow it off. Maybe it runs. Add boost. Dude, got a 64 Pontiac. Let me take a look and see what motors these might be. Now, this is later than my 57. Otherwise, it would be cool to have that four barrel manifold. That's it? We'll see there. Did you get that guy from YouTube? Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing the video on. Oh, is that motor? Is you get the motor sent? Yeah, put them on the dyno. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Nice meeting you, man. Go we'll good. See, Thanks, guys. Videos. What are you guys looking at? We just uh, work on old cars. Oh, I'm and just getting a steering shaft. Take a look me. in here. I actually found another early Pontiac. Unfortunately, it's got a two barrel manifold on it. But if I need any parts, there's one here. Go in through here. Maybe we can go in. Oh, there we go. Let me go on this side. Yeah. Stock exhaust manifolds. Man, I wish it. I wish that thing had a four barrel on it. See, this is why you always check the trunk. Another manifold again. Two barrel. Man, we need a four barrel one. Some exhaust manifolds back here. Some tubing that I could probably use for the exhaust. Front cover for the water pump. What we need to find. Another carburetor would be good. Start to stack them for our tri power setup. Cool stuff. Why do the guys always take the carburetors off these? I'll find one of these. That'd be cool. Six cylinder Ford. Yeah, you go. Think you can get parts to rebuild that? <laughs> Got a mail Jeep. Look at that. I always take the carburetors. You know what's up with that? Another slant six. One barrel intake. That would have been good. Wish again, wish the carburetor was there. I wonder if the head's any good. Probably could have used that too. But I will test the one barrel intake. So this is this is interesting. We found the carburetor, or we found a carburetor, not the carburetor, because look at that. High performance. How many of these do you see? Got a lot of stuff missing, but it's a Lotus twin cam. I used to have one of the Lotus twin cams, a two liter, in a Jensen Healy. Side drafts on it, very cool. Got another slant six. With the carburetor missing. Okay guys, I am back from the wrecking yard. I got the six liter up on the dyno so we can install the Cadillac supercharger. Today was a pretty successful day. We didn't find any 3800 Series 2 V6 motors with the supercharger. We also didn't find any 2.2 liter Chrysler motors. I wonder where I'm gonna have to go to find a 2.2 or a 2.5 turbo motor so I can put that up on the dyno also. But we did find the 4200. Guys are over there pulling that thing right now so I can get back up on the dyno and install the Cadillac blower on our six liter. Thanks for watching, I'm Richard Holden. Make sure like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff and i will start testing